hello hello once again thank you for tuning in and if it's the first time here my name is chandra and i hope this message blesses you or somebody out there and today's topic is god wants to pull you back from things that are holding you back the bible tells us that jesus came to give us life of abundance more abundant means to have a super abundantly of things Abundant life refers to the life in its abounding fullness of joy, strength, peace, soul, and body. Abundant life may include expectations of prosperity and wealth, but may also include some form of fulfillment of life when we are faced with adverse circumstances. God always tries to pull you back from things that are holding you back, holding you back from moving forward with your life or moving forward with things of God. Things that are holding you from your breakthroughs, things that are holding you from enjoying the fruits of the Spirit, things that are holding you from joy, peace, love, goodness, and so forth. And sometimes God will remove you from situations that are holding you back as well. And the way he does it, at times it might seem unfair and painful, but the reasons are always known to him, our Father in heaven, because the goal is always revert to you being in his will and fulfilling your destiny. The Bible tells us in Genesis that Jacob loved Joseph so much and he favored him more than all his siblings. Jacob would have been so protective and would have spoiled Joseph because when you think about it, he had Joseph at his later age or in his old years and Joseph was born by Rachel, the woman that he loved so much, and she struggled to have Joseph. And when he had Joseph, he felt complete. That's when he left Laban's house to go and take Rachel and Leah, his wives, because he felt complete. He felt like the love of his life has given him his son, and he was happy. Then what God did, if you look at the way Jacob loved Joseph. If Jacob stayed with him, maybe he would have not received, uh, fulfilled his destiny. But God had to allow his brothers to do what they did to him so that that experience can build resilient, perseverance character in him from what he endured. He endured pain and suffering as a slave and as a prisoner. He went through trials and tribulation and that helped him to build that character to become a governor of Egypt one day. The Bible even went to tell us that when Jacob heard of Joseph's death, he was angry, he cried, he tore his clothes and put on sackcloth and mourned for his dead son for many days. He was never comforted. And he even told them that he was going to mourn until he met his son again in the grave. If Joseph stayed with his family, his dead's love would have stopped him from fulfilling his destiny. And which he explained to his brothers in Genesis 45, 7 to 8, 7, 8 to 8, that for God, don't feel bad. For God sent me before you to perceive a prosperity for you in the earth and save your lives by a great deliverance. And sometimes the same thing, sometimes that's what God does to his children. He will move you from your family and he will separate you from everybody 
so that he can build a different character in you for you in order for you to be able to fulfill your destiny because he knows that your family can be a limitation to you a family can derail your destiny they can have plans for you while god had planned for you because you remember the bible says in jeremiah 29 11 i know the plans that i have for you and sometimes for those plans to come to pass God has to separate you and pull you from things that are holding you back. And that's the same thing that happened to Jesus. Everywhere he went, he could pull crowds and crowds of people. He can perform the miracles, signs and wonders. He can heal people. He can do wonderful teachings because he had compassion for humankind. But when he went back to his hometown, he was not accepted. God had to pull him from his hometown and family for his destiny to be fulfilled. Because even Jesus himself, he had to say that a prophet is not accepted in his own hometown. Sometimes you have to go somewhere, you have to be pulled away from your family in order for you to fulfill your destiny. And another example is the same thing that happened to Noah. When God saw that the world was getting out of hand with sin, he saved Noah and his family. He had to pull him from the evil world because of his righteousness. And then they became heirs of the righteousness of this earth. They were exempt from the flood and the world exit that's another form of pulling away and as a child of god you need to examine your life and find things that are holding you back and try and break free from them break free so that you can have a new life because every it's every person's responsibility to break free and break those bad cycles in their lives. For example, in order for you to get good things in life, maybe for example, get a godly spouse, and the only way a godly spouse can find you is to find you when you are full and whole again, not bitter. Your godly spouse cannot find you unless you are hidden. And the only way you can be hidden is to be in the will of God. That's what, that way you won't fall prey to the narcissist. God has to pull you from the world and hide you when you are in his will so that when the godly partner comes your way, he can find you find you in your assignment, find you whole and full again, not bitter or broken. Because what God wants us to be full so we can give our full person to another person. He doesn't want us to bring our insecurities, our things that bad things that happened in our relationship, our brokenness to the new one. He wants us to come as new creation, because now we are in, in Christ and also we are in his will. That is plan for all his children. You need also, you need to be obedient to our father. That way also you want to pray to Satan and his craftiness. We need to seek God. Seek he first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And all will be added unto us. We need to seek God with all our heart, our mind, our soul. We need to want God. Our God is supposed to be our everything. We're supposed to put God first before anything in our lives. And when we seek him, he knows what's best for us. And he will pull us from things that are no longer service to us. He will pull us away from things that are limiting us, that are holding us back. 
He will pull us forward to things that will bring fulfillment in our lives. Things that will push us towards our destiny, our purpose, the reason why he created us. Because God doesn't make a mistake mistake when he creates us. He creates us on purpose and for his destiny to be fulfilled. Because we are not ordinary. We are extraordinary beings. And our Father, we need to know that our Father is holy and he loves us. And in order for us to be used by him here on earth, to make earth a better place, we have to be holy and we have to love him with all our heart and our heart has to be pure. We have to have pure motives towards us, towards the earth and the human race. Our intentions have to be pure at all times because that's what God wants from us. He wants us to be angels here on earth, to spread the good news to the poor, set the captives free, and let the good news reach people. Let people know who he is so they can choose him and love him and they'll receive that love because that love redeems and heals because God is love. So I hope you've been blessed by this message. And if you have, please like and share. Subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. God bless you.